Good morning, Cancers. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are Cancer, no Cancer, feel like being a Cancer, I am really glad you're here. I am, I am. We're going to start with the water signs this morning. And we're going to do a 10-card Celtic spread with this lovely deck, the Neo Rider Tarot Collection. If you guys ever look this up on Amazon and look at the reviews, they're not lying. This deck is super slippery. Super slippery. It's a plastic deck, so yeah, it is what it is. I just think it's so pretty, and I feel like using it this week. So, Cancers, what's the present energy for you guys? What is going on with you guys today? What needs to come out? Present energy for Cancers. What is it? Ooh, Nine of Swords Reverse. I like, I like, I like. I like better days. You're in better days. What's challenging the Knight of Swords reversed? What's challenging it for the Cancers? Ooh, did you see how that came out? Ace of Pentacles. New beginning. Something new is taking you out of that icky old energy. What's holding up the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? Why, why, why? Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, guys. How many... Let me just tell you, if you have a question on your mind and you don't know the answer, if it's like a yes or no, you got two yeses here. Just just putting that out there for uh, whoever needs to hear that. Ace of Swords, brand new spanking idea. And you're putting it to action. It could be a new relationship. Ace of Cups isn't here, but it definitely, it's a new beginning of some sort. And it's making you feel really good. Really good. What's the past energy for you guys? What's the past energy, Cancer? Four cups, boredom, ap just apathy, emotional neutral, nothing just turning your head. Not, and I, you know, when I look at that cup, <clears throat> and it's your, it's your card, by the way. When I look at that, that, cu that cup, did I say look at that cup? When I look at that card, I just think of kind of just not really living your life. It's like kind of just existing where this is you in, like you're in the driver's seat. What's uh, on your mind? What's on your mind, Cancer? What is on that water-bearing mind of yours? Another ace, ace of wands, but it's reversed. Very interesting, very interesting. What's the near future for you guys? What's the near future? What is the near future? Ooh, hangman reverse. Somehow I'm feeling this ace of wands reverse is linked to this hang the hangman reverse you have a new idea you you're learning how to to apply it there is just but you're not on the go yet with it ace of wands reverse that's what i'm feeling i feel like it's about to happen and what you're waiting for is just that higher perspective but it's coming in that's what the energy is coming in you you're gaining that higher perspective to actually now put it into action this is that's i i don't think i've ever pulled three aces like that not in the main spread how do you see yourselves right now cancer Oh, how do you see yourselves right now? How do the Cancers see themselves? Oh, yeah, that's right. Queen of Wands. Any, You can do anything. Queen of Wands is extroverted. She's charismatic. She's not afraid to do anything. I mean, she even has that black cat in the center of the card. And I know I keep telling this because it's so important to know that there was a time where women men too got burned at the stake for even owning a black cat this this person doesn't care she she doesn't care about having haters so much that she not only owns a black cat she features it on the center of her card that means this is a person who does what she wants she believes in the things that she does she she says what she says she actually does she follows through and you are going to get haters on a path like this but you're going to get more followers you're going to get more admirers you're going to get more just attention and of course the, the jealousy comes with the territory but it's do you think the queen of wands cares that's an energy i feel like you're embodying that's how you see yourself that's with this ace of wands reversed i mean it's 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 amazing it's amazing. I just wanted to look at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Two of cups. We have a two of cups, seven of wands. It's like defending your right, defending your stance, right? Five of swords reverse and a seven of cups reverse. You're just, you're no longer confused. In the past, uh, we'll, like I said, we'll clarify what this four of cups was in the past. But right now you're on your higher path. You're connected to your higher self. Some of you could be in a relationship with another water sign or air sign. But I just feel like you're just not confused on where you're going. You know where you're going. For some reason, you're having a hard time actually the getting moving forward. The momentum's here. The desire's here. The know-how is here. 
What's coming in for you, Cancer? What's coming in for you at this time? Energy. Oh my gosh. Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. I, I, no. Come on, Spirit. I need one card. I can't do doubles on everything. What's coming in for Cancers? They don't see coming. What's coming in to influence this? And the Two of Pentacles reversed. It could be, it is a card of unbalance, but I, I almost feel like being too rigid. And you know what this also, with the, with the energy coming in and with this Ace of Wands reverse, it could be waiting for the perfect time with the Ace of Wands reverse. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You know exactly where what you want. You know, you probably even know the building blocks to get there. But are you waiting for the perfect time? If this is a relationship, although I'm feeling like this is more a, a business idea or it, it could be many, it honestly could be many things. Whatever it is, it's almost like you're waiting for the perfect time to actually apply what you know. And that is the Two of Pentacles reverse. The Two of Pentacles reverse is um, life is about the unknown. So don't be too rigid. This is when you're too rigid and you're you know trying to control things too much. Then you tend to get that analysis paralysis and nothing tends to happen. So it's kind of like loosen up the reins a little bit. Let the creativity flow. Let that you know let keep. If you, when you loosen up the reins, everything can flow. Therefore, you can get more abundance towards you. You're not like cutting off the supply of money, of love, of friendship, of whatever this is. What is, what's in your emotions at this time, Cancer? What's in your emotions at this time? What's in your emotions at this time? Seven of Cups. A bit confused, a bit... Oh, do I pick this cup or that cup again? I again, again, again. I feel like this is you waiting for the right time. This is you overthinking. This is this is a lot of overthinking, especially with that Two of Pentacles reversed. This is overthinking to the point where you don't know if you pick. You feel like if you pick the wrong cup, everything's gonna go to hell in a handbasket. What's in your emotions? What's in your emotions, Cancer? What's in your emotions? eight of swords yeah you're up in your head on this aren't you but in the present energy i mean the, did i say in your emotions that's the outcome i'm sorry did i say your emotions that's weird because i do feel like the seven of cups that probably is in your emotions but in the present energy we have the nine of swords reversed when you are up in your head when you're up in your head in in this decision and you get that analysis paralysis kind of thing remember why you're doing it if this is a relationship remember the beginnings of it remember what you first found attractive in this person if this is a job or a new business idea try to remember what what brought you to it why why this you know get get that central um like that integral part of this idea and hold on to it. Because when you start spinning out of control, that's when you're up in your head, you, you're a bit confused. You feel like if you make the wrong decision, it's just, you know, it's just the what ifs. If you make the wrong decision, everything's just gonna fall. But oh my gosh, didn't I say that? Did I not say that? All we need is the Ace of Cups and there it is. That is what you're not seeing. That's in, at the center of you is the Ace of Cups. That's you, Cancer. This, whatever this is, brings you a lot of happiness. I think you're just afraid of, if you if you loosen up the controls a little bit, cancer is just gonna lose it all. Okay, let's clarify with the black and gold tarot. Tell me about this Nine of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, it's bringing you a lot of happiness. And a lot of times when we're clear on what we need to do, that alone will bring us happiness because we're no longer confused. What's this Nine of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles for cancer? What's that about? Nine of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Nine of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. What is this about? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Nine of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. What is this? Two of Swords. You're this is too, you can apply this both ways. This is coming out of meditation and applying it. And once you apply it, that is what's getting you out of your stress mode. That's what's getting you out of the sleepless nights. I almost feel like where you feel like there's something bigger for you out there. There's something you should be doing. Well, you found it. You found it. And that alone puts you at ease. And it's kind of making a decision to actually 
follow your higher calling, follow your path with this Ace of Pentacles reverse. That's that's making a decision. And when you make the decision, it's amazing. When we come out of procrastination, we don't realize how heavy that burden is when we stay stagnant too long. Tell me about the Ace of Swords holding up the reading. What's the Ace of Swords doing here? What's that doing here? Page of Swords reverse. This is no longer watching. This is now in action. And what's ironic up is up here is getting fully into action. But the, the, the whole reason for the reading is you want to come out of research. You want to come out of wanting. You want to come out of in your head. The, the Ace of Swords is an idea in your head. You want to come out of that and you want to apply it with the Page of Swords reverse. You want to stop, you know, watching. You want to start doing. What's the Four of Cups in the past? What's the Four of Cups for Cancer in the past doing here? What's the Four of Cups? Knight of Pentacles. Maybe you felt like things are just moving too slow. Relationship, jobs, um, trying to get a job, just life in general. It's just like things, are, things aren't coming your way. And it's just kind of bored. You're just bored with your options because it's just like there was nothing exciting going on. Nothing exciting. Nothing. What else is there? Yeah, Knight of Swords reversed right next to each other. Knight of Swords reversed, Knight of Swords reversed. Yeah. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Wands reversed at the on your mind. What's this Ace of Wands reversed on your mind for Cancer? Tell me about the Ace of Wands reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. This is this is lack of confidence, Cancer. That's lack of confidence. Queen of Wands reversed. You see yourself as the Queen of Wands. Don't forget that. That's down here. This is how you see yourself. What's on your mind, you see yourself as being able to do it. You see yourselves as accomplishing this, as obtaining whatever this is. I feel really, I really strongly that this is some type of money making, business, a promotion, um, you know, something along those lines of obtaining something to so you can have more than what you have right now. For some reason, you're in your head and you have told yourself the story, even though there's the, there's the belief that you can have it, you just don't feel like you have, I, it's like you don't have the confidence. This is a lack of confidence. The Queen of Wands reverse is still the Queen of Wands upright. She just doesn't see it. That's the thing. Until you get that confidence, it's like you can't go. You're, you're, you're at the starting line waiting for a gun to fire with the Seven of Cups, right? But sooner or later there you have to realize there's no perfect time to do this if this is a business let's say this is a relationship and you are waiting for it and something falls into your lap and it looks good but you're just like hmm but what if they're not that person i thought they would be this is you just overthinking the crap out of something and then you're waiting for that perfect time you're waiting for that hand of god you know like with the ace of swords to say here it is well it's here cancer it's here you just it's just like you're you're like no 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 I think I need one more sign you know after you've already had like 52 of them what's the hangman reverse in the in the near future what's the hangman reversed about in the near future what's the hangman reversed about in the near future yeah five of pentacles you just don't hang this is the clarity the 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 clarity coming in is you're struggling with self-confidence. You're struggling with lack. You're struggling with a scarcity. Five of Pentacles feels left out in the cold, but it mostly feel it's most in this reading about feeling not good enough. Maybe you feel like there's too many competitors and you can't compete. When in reality, you probably have more resources and know-how to do whatever this is more than your competition. If this is about going for a higher position in your work, you actually are probably more qualified than the people who who um, you call boss but for some reason you're having a lack of confidence maybe maybe it's a physical where you're you're lacking like you're used to being behind the scenes you're behind the curtain and now you have to be in the you know the the forefront and that terrifies you that's possible queen of wands is in the forefront and she has a lot of confidence in her abilities in her physical attributes in everything this, this is not a person who struggles with self-esteem issues. And that's the energy you need to embody. It's it's that, you you know what you need? You need to fake it until you make it. I think that Cary Grant, I'm going to butcher this famous saying, but he says, I had to, I had to pretend I was 
him until he became me or I became him. He wasn't Cary Grant. He had to pretend to be Cary Grant until he became him. That is the, that's what needs to happen here. You need to, you need to embody that energy until it feels natural. It, because it's just about practice. You're probably used to putting yourself down and you, you believed your own negative self-talk for so long that anything positive probably feels foreign to your body. What's this Queen of Wands doing here? How you see yourself? How, what's the Queen of Wands here? What's that about? Yeah, Page of Cups. You want this. You, you want, you want this, if this is a relationship, a job, whatever this is for any, you know, different stories for different people, but this is something you really, really want. This is something that really makes you happy. This is something that makes you joyful and your spirit, it makes your, your spirit light and happy because remember in the central of the reading, we have the nine of swords, we have the nine of swords reversed twice. If that isn't a sign, that's the only sign you need cancer. That's the only sign you need to know that you're on the right path. What's the two of pentacles reverse coming in for you? What's the two of pentacles reverse coming in? Temperance. This is divinely orchestrated and this is, this is meant to be. Take it like that. You now, you have three aces here. That's, they're, they're yeses, right? And you have temperance. It's meant to be. This is meant to be. So it's just like, you, you just have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. What's the seven of cups? Tell me about the seven of cups in your emotions. What's this confusion? What's the seven of cups about? The knight of cups reversed. It's again, it's a, it's, it's like, I almost feel like you feel like if you start this, that you're not going to be able to accomplish it. And then therefore I'm going to feel like a failure. The knight of cups reversed is, it's just fear. It's, it's fear of being, it's fear of conveying the, the, your inner emotions. It's fear of, it's, it's the Knight of Cups reverse is also all talk and no action. And I'm, this could be a case where you, you tell people what you're going to do. And I'm, yeah, I, I want to travel here or I want to create this. And then when it comes time to it, it's just like, oh my gosh, what if, you know, what if I can't do it? How am I going to look? People are going to talk behind my back. So therefore you kind of pull back. That's it's, 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 I can't say it enough. This reading is a lack of self-confidence without truly realizing the abilities you you already possess you truly have everything but for some reason you see yourself as a five of pentacles what's the eight of swords in the outcome what's the eight of swords about in the outcome tell me about the eight of swords in the outcome for cancer the tower reversed yeah you want to avoid you're stressed because you feel like if you make the wrong decision it's just all going to go to hell it's just people are going to talk behind my back people are going to laugh at me you know, you're trying to avoid a disaster, a, t a tower moment, a failure. Give me another card on the Eight of Swords and the outcome for Cancer. What's another card? Eight of Wands, but you got to do it. If you're stressed in your head, a lot of times, I, I said this in the beginning of the reading, a lot of times stress comes from lack of action. If you want to get out of the Eight of Swords, you have to get into the Eight of Wands, right? one balances out the other you're gonna have to close your eyes and put a foot you know one step ahead of the other until it starts to feel natural you're gonna have to you are gonna have to imagine yourself as the queen of wands pretend to be the queen of wands until you become her or she becomes you like that saying that's what you need this is you need action you need to move forward on this because it's gonna bring you so much happiness and abundance i feel that so strongly you feel that really strongly, but you got to get out of this analysis paralysis. Give me another card, please. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords for Cancer. And the Queen of Cups reversed. It's just, it, it really stresses you out. You you want to make this decision like, you, you want to be this person who's very confident in their decisions and maybe on the outside you appear, but inside is just like you're, you're a basket case. It's just being really stressed about this. I just feel like it's just stressed about if something goes wrong. You're just trying to control the variables that, you know what, that's what the Two of Pentacles reversed is. Right here, energy coming in is realization that you can't control every negative thing that can happen. So even out of the negative things that happen, something beautiful really can come from it. A lot of times beauty comes from some a, a tragedy or a nightmare. You can't control everything, you just can't. You have to allow the flow. 
good or bad and be able to be a queen of cups upright a king of cups upright a two of pentacles upright of saying if it happens it happens and i'll deal with it until then i'm moving forward that's the queen of wands i'm moving forward hate me if you want you know fight with me if you want i'll fight back you know it's five of wands it's just like you, you you're gonna you got to get into the fight you can't the four cups remember the four cups in the past this is sitting on the sidelines watching everybody live their life this is you living your life this is you watching your life go by without living it it's like existing and i feel like whatever this is there's something that made you come out of the four of cups and you're just like i i want to start living again I, I want to start, I, I want to be in control of my life. I, I want to make big decisions. I want to make big money. I just, I want that queen, you know, the queen of wands energy. I feel like you really, really want to embody it. And here's an opportunity. And now that the opportunity is here, it's just kind of like you're kind of on the cliff, you know, almost ready to jump, almost ready to jump where I feel like you need like temperance angel to come and just push you. And 10 of cups reverse. It's just like, oh my gosh, what if? what if that's the what if what if what if this doesn't bring me long-term happiness what if the drama it's at the same time you i think internally you know this is all by by the way this is all clarifying the eight of swords this is your thought process behind the eight of swords what why you're up in your head about this it's just what if it doesn't bring the money or the happiness or it's too time consuming for for little reward and the hangman, you're stuck. This is being stuck in the hangman in this stagnant, stagnant position of thinking and thinking and thinking. Cancer is overthinking this. Cancer is overthinking this. Four of Wands. But this is Four of Wands talks about happiness, yes, a strong found home, but fours talk about foundations. You, Cancer, you are your heart and home. You are the sign of you're the home sign you're the your your love your emotions your balance i mean you 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 have what it takes to do this you really do i feel like what this is the reason why you're stuck in your head is because you're worried about people underneath you if you have kids if you have dependents if you have people that look up to you i feel like you are afraid to let them down but you're not going to let them down by trying that's that's teaching them how to take chances and sometimes chances really pay off and they it's kind of like when it, you can't win the lottery if you don't play you can't be successful if you don't get into the game you got to get into the game on this cancer you you just can't you got to get out of your head a bit okay that is what i have for you this week i will see you next week i hope you have a beautiful week cancer take care